Bana kwa mara nyingine tena leo nimekutana na mshikaji wangu Gigi Mani, Gigi Mapesa, Gigi ni Kiki. E bana ni muda mrefu tujaze tujapigana hii story. So kesi wala so deni kasema bana ni muibukie. Kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo Gigi Mani hapa katikati amevipitia magumu changamoto za maisha lakini pia maisha yanazidi kuendelea na vitu kama hivyo. Ni tuarudi ma story na hii ni kali ma story behind the camera dance on TK. Niko na Gigi Mani Mama Myra. Loja. Ni aje. Sijui ta kuongea nini lakini tuongee. Hivi hivi sikia Gigi. Mwaka unaisha unajua eh? Unajua unaanza. Unaisha. Madeni. <laughs> Madeni sina niko vizuri. Ya unaisha ndugu yangu. Una, unaisha. Hivi unajivunia ni kwanza Gigi. Iki mwaka huu yani cha msingi ambacho pia Gigi anakaa na fikia sababu. Unajivunia tu kwanza maombi yangu na na majibu yametokea ya mostly kwenye mwaka huu sijajua mwakani ila Mungu mwaka huu ajeniacha mwambie nayo ya kuwa sawa kupumua ni majali yake nani kufumani au sale kuona mwaka majali yake Mungu mm. ni majali yake Mungu we kuona mwaka unajua msondo sisi sipinde hatari so when the most thing naona mimi nimekifanikisha kwenye mwaka huu ni ku, hata kuiona itarishi na moja which is tuna siku kama 9 siku 10 huko tufunge ukakata ile saa tano dakika msina tisa unasikia kama pumzi zinaenda kukata na ujuza godi acha ni uone babu kuona so shida so tumuombe Mungu pia mwaka ujaisha roja yani kweli hivi hivi kuna kuna kitu ambacho pia kimeendelea umekifanya gigi unajivunia mbavu ni nikwenda yuko yenyewe maendeleo japo mimi kwenye coach tunasema kujenga nyumba labda kuwa na ndinga mpya bado sio nimejenga najenga ila ni kitu mbona nchifanya kuongeza gari ongera pia kwenye ile niongeza gari nikiongeza mtoto ningejipamba ila siwezi mimba miezi tisa nimeongeza matajiri Unamaanisha? Yaani madili ameongezeka, nimeongeza matajiri. <laughs> eh, mshauri wako jichanganye kwenye kwenye kichwa chako. Unajua matajiri madanga mpumbavu. <laughs> Asa si nimesema, kwani mimi ndio nimesema. Matajiri yani mabosi zangu ukiongelea kama Gugu Beauty, Win Princess, mm. let's talk on now Brazil. Wanaisha Simgongo most 10 years, Johnny mm. Johea. Yaani sio wao pretty posh trend kuvaa VBS. So yaani mimi siwezi kuchunda. Yaani niko full package. Kila kona nimejiweka kwenye nguo ngo vizuri. Pocha anasimama, vibeza anasimama. Mi nywele huko nikisoka nikichoka miwigi na kuja kwa gugu so. Ila sijapata balo za viatu. Ah, okay. Mm. Hivi una endorsement ngapi sasa hivi? Nyingi. Kwa mtu mmoja ni nyingi. Sisemi ngapi? Kuna mwingine ana hata moja ndio najua so. Mm. Na nyingi. Lakini gigi na, na naongea na matajiri wengi sana mjini wamesema kwamba gigi as as nyota watu wanasema kwamba gigi bwana kumtafuta ufanye naye biashara kwenye masuala endorsement bwana anakuwa mgumu kidogo okay namba ngeni tuma message unajua una deal na mtu unampigia mimi simu unajua kuna kitu yeye msikilize mtu anapokupigia simu unapokea alo anakaa kimya sasa unakuwa unasema na alo kama unaongea namba 100 aloje alo eh ni na we gigi wewe uko unampigia nani mm. chapati nguzo umeme dawasi kwa uluku mm. kama hata kutafuta luku tanesi kuwapigie namba yao bule mm. ila kama unajua unampigia kabisa gigi mane mm. you need just to kwanza uongee wewe ujitambulishe sasa kuna muda unajua kabisa ah wote wajukuje hawajui hata kuongea na mtu maarufu mm. kama unapopiga simu halo vocha yangu hapa ya bali na unaomba mazungumzo yako yanarekodiwa mm. una kuna jinsi ya kuongea na mtu kama mimi mtu anakupiga tu Ah gigi mane. Mimi mdau wako mdau wako mdau mba mdau. Mimi nina mbei, achana na dau. Nina bonge la mbei wangu. Na linga hatari na kata sim. So they need to text me. So kama sitaki deal sitaki ila sitaki kufanya nao. Kazafu mimi sitegui deal. Ila hawajui kuni approach. It matters approach. Ila wao wanategemea mimi ni waapproachie wateja wende madukani mwao. Kama umeshindwa kuongea na mimi, utaongeaje na mteja mbaye atakuletea? Kwa hiyo wewe ukiweza kuongea na mimi naweza kukuhakikishia wateja wanakuja kwako cause is all about talk na money okay. kama hela yako ina thamani simamishe kutangazie kama uwezi kuniheshimu unaponipigia na duka langu unafanya matangazo shingapi sifanye matangazo ndio kujibu mimi sifanye matangazo wanakupigia simu leo nikuposti na shingapi fam simu nimefungua duka langu unampost kama unavampost hiyo ni shingapi 
Ya kwa wana kaa kimu, wana mbomu maliza. Misifanyi matangazo, mjuju malokoli. Anaposti sita asubuhi. Kamchana na posti kamba kumina mbili. Kwa wanafanya matangazo, wana influence people. Kuelewa blandi ya mtu. Na kuipenda, kwa sabu na itumia pia. Kwa wanafanya matangazo, kuna kina karima story, mapeji hapo, kina bongo trending, kina niki wale. Kwa wanafanya posti matangazo. Sisi tunaposti biashara na tuna influence. Kwa wabongo kudogo kwenye limu hapo ni wambia mini influenza. Sio mposti masangaso. Ok. <laughs> Kuna kuna dili zingine zina kujiaga la unaona kasa mm, hii dili yeah, bwana ifa. Sio mm. sio kila dili inakuwa mbaya ila hela ndogo. Mm. Nene ndio biashara inaanza. Kwa sababu wewe ukijua biashara inaanza chana mimi. Ikiwa ndio biashara yangu inaanza. Inanihusu nini? Mimi yangu ndio inamalizikia. Ndio nakaribia kukata kukata katalini. <laughs> Na kusanya kusanya za mwisho. Wewe unapokuja biashara yangu ndio inaanza kiki yani kipenzi ina kujibu tu ndugu yangu mimi biashara yangu ishaisha kitambo. Mm. Kwa kwa tunamalizana tunamalizana tuweze chana na mimi. Okay. Bora nife maskini kuliko ku, kuto kupata value yangu. Yaani tunachoshindana na hisi ni value. Mimi I know my value. Yaani mm. sijali mtu na mjaji vipi gigi huko nikicho chako gigi ni nani ila ukija kuongea na mimi kwa na akili timu mkozi mimi ninazo. Mm. Kama huna nitakufundisha mirembe namba 8 nilishai kukaa pia. Cheese. <laughs> Umesema kwamba ulikuwa utaki kitu chochote wakati unapitia hiyo situation, sindio? Situation nge? Iyo umesema kwa sababu kuna vitu wanapitia na nini kusia na zile. Ulojo kwenye mitandao. Na kumbuka last time bada vile vitu kuenda viral ni kupigia sima hafisi mwe kwa kwa patikani. Kwa sababu gigi ya mamo kubadisha namba. Ni... Ata, ah, no. Yani nisema um, gigi ya ataki kuongena mtu yote. Kabadisha namba. Kitu gene kinendelea. Sisi kubadisha chochote. Mm. Katika kitu ambacho dhambi kujikata au kujikana au kutoka kukubali ya kimetokea kwamba au kukata tamaa au kujiua kiserikali hata kimaisha let me give you fact about it mimi sio victim mimi sio wa kwanza mimi sio si sijataka hata huruma ya mtu pia cuz let me ask you something nani afanye mapenzi nani azaga mwani kwa sababu usipofanya kuna muda unaweza kuchanganyikiwa so let me give this young ladies pia hii nomba uchukua shio ni kwa sita kongele lakini nomba tu nimeambia kitu. Hakuna mm. mtu mimi ajue hata mazingira gani ile video imetoka. Ndio hicho kitu ambacho tunao kina niumiza which is I want to tell them like kuna simu afu kuna vifaa vingi sana kutoa simu. Kiamini kurekodiwa ni simu tu kwa sababu na imiliki. Kuna simu afu kuna vifaa vingi sana kutoa simu. Mimi na hakika Tanzania kwa upeo wa wasana dogo dogo. Wamerekodiwa wengi sana. Sema tu hawana nyota yangu hajapitia kama mimi yao hawajaichukua kama mimi katika vitu ambavyo nilikuwa napambana navyo visi nikute na iko which is kisha nikuta was like god why you let this happen lakini Mungu akaniambia nakupa situation ambazo unaweza kuzipita tu na ni umeona zitu eh sababu najua unaweza kulivuka kwa jaribio lolote Mungu anampa na iliweza hawezi kunipa jaribio ambalo najua mimi litaniua he knew nige anaweza kupita hiki kitu labda isikute hata mimi yeye nisijui kwa sababu Speak of forever it is going on me when mtoto simkumbuki. Yaani hata mtu analaumu vipi mimi simjui. I'm like really this going to happen to me now. Au kama ni nani ni labda too long time watu wanajua kuhifadhi vitu. So let me give you fact here um Ogopa sana kifaa kinaitwa laptop kikiwa kimefunguliwa. Bas. Sija rekodiwa sija rekodi na sikushika simu na kaombea ni list yule mtu anaiko kitu kwenye kichwa chake kwa simu yake ilikuwa ndo lakini laptop kuna hidden cameras kuna vikamera vinauzwa sasa hivi hadi 2020 mm. so people really really wanna wanna get fame unjua maarufu ni mgumu kupata ila kuna mtu hawazi fadha anawaza hapa anajua nikipata gigi yani ta trend yeah you will lakini what will trend take you zaidi ya kudhalilika au aibu. Mimi naamini ningekuwa ni mkosaji hata hapa nisingika nayo. Mimi naamini ningekuwa nina makosa hata Mungu asingeendelea kunipa riziki anazo nipo. Mimi naamini ningekuwa ni mtu mbaya au kile kitu kina kime, kime ni change anything in my heart. Nisingeweza kuongea na watu ambao wote naamini marafiki zangu na na treat the same way with the respect with power. Sasa wana anambega ah chana nao. Menela so which is Wao wow, naweza kuacha na ila mimi siwezi kuacha na hicho kitu. Kipo. So yule alikuwa ni mtu wako au? Okay. 
Ni mtu ambaye ni, ni, ni alikuja ananipenda. Mm. Tunadhamu usiano and wewe sikujua ni mtu moyo kichaka mm. macho yana mboni kope anafumba anafumbua so kichwa pia kina ubongo kina akili ujui mtu anawaza nini so i don't really 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 feel nice i don't really wanna say it ya ni umize ya ni kwaza ya ni boy ya ni friend jisikie bana mtoto wa kike which is tomorrow i don't really wish mtoto wa mwanangu rafiki yangu mtoto timkute bro ni kweli unaweza kujiua ikiwa kweli unajua unachokipitia ni nini because it's it's sim kuita ni ukikata kabiga huyu is text kukutumia is my mom going crazy and ashuka pressure kwanza mimi i was like sikwaza hata kumwesha mamangu ninaumia kwa sababu najua ataumia zaidi you know right and i was there like i have to stand for them ni kweli naumia lakini sio sikuonyesha dunia naumia especially my mom ataumia mara sita kwa una mwambieje mtu kwamba Hakuna mtu anaumia zaidi kama mzazi wako kwenye dunia. Yaani jua hicho chochote mtakambe kigeni mwanangu kigeni kigeni imeumia I'm like yeah so kwa sababu kuna wengine wako wana nitafuta like kwamba ndo ukome. But I was like thank you. Ila mamangu aliniambia tungombe kitu kwenye usichana kwenye ukuaji. Sijai kutegemea kitu kinza kikuta. I thought tushamaliza kila kitu. I thought tushapitia mambo mengi ya kukuumiza ila hili limetuumiza wengi ambao walikamba mama mbona kawaida na mjibu loja na mute na lia. Ni mama wa kawaida. Mama wanangu marafiki zangu ngapa ila ningemuonyesha mimi navuumia. Maybe hata singeenda kwenye vilabu vyake akakaa na marafiki zake kama kawaida. So mimi nilimpa tu yote na mama enjoy please no, you, are, you are not the one who wrong. Hujamkosea mtu. Hujakosea kuniza. Hujakosea kuwa na mwana ugigi ba. Mama it's okay. I was just giving that. Mama iko sawa. Alikuwa kinena bei. Sasa unjua mzazi anakuwa anakuuliza. Imekuwa aje umeruhusuje? Una kitu kwa mama. Yaani ndamani kumkalipia mama na isi mzazi kalusi hali. Lakini naomba tu mama alikuwa mpenzi wangu. I didn't know. Mela. Ba hata mama wangu yani nilikuwa tunajua hichi kitu mimi kama napitia hivi. What about alone later duniani? It's worse. Sema tu wale it's really killing me mimi na mtoto na mzazi wenzangu mzazi wenzangu kwenye do end On behalf naweza nikasema namuomba msamaha na mwanangu sababu tomorrow this thing it am test the rest of our life maybe oh no Inategemea mimi hapa na play na play part gani It can be yes if I will continue being a stupid na ikajirudia It can be no if kama hata yeye mwenyewe anakuwa anamuona mama yake pale like Nika do things for her. Namhudumia, namlisha, namsomesha na na hata ukiangalia ile tukio imetokea ni gladu ya mwanangu siku ya pili. Oh. I have to be out there for her. Unaelewa? Mm. So Roger nimepita dunia ambayo kulia hata sio muhimu tena. Naumia lakini hata nikisema tunalia like unajiliza. Si unataka tukoni huruma like definitely I don't need to rumor though. Cause this thing happens ukini on your almost bone onia can you delete like umeona ujinga ambao mimi mwenyewe sifurahi ni ushenzi ambao mtoto wangu rafiki yangu mamangu ndugu yangu wote sifurahi kwa kwa nini why they have to go through that because of me ndio maana nikwataka kweli kujua lakini if it's not you not your need you not people i have close not my mom kuonyesha kanielewa kwamba this will pass msingi kwa hapo mwenyewe ona bado na man drip ni kwacho mmekusoma hizo zote all this was pressure ina panda inashuka so it was like wako nipatie wani mgonjwa aongeze kuongea na simu so it was there was something have to be there for it and it bidi tu niki face nipambane nacho sababu mimi sio wa kwanza na si semi nitakuwa wa mwisho wadhalilishaji wapo wengi na vijana kama yule kijana ni wapo wengi na ni upeo na malezi mungu mimi kaumizwa lakini mama yake na isa anaumia zaidi kwa nini kamza mtoto criminal ambaye ana yani i don't really know the guy so i'm like let it happen imetokea hizo kazi mimi namjua ni nifahamia na yetu uliongea tukutana tuko tunaongea but simjui kumjua mtu tu mnanielewa mnamjuaje mtu simjui sijui intentionally yake sijui hisia zake sijui moyo wake usijui picha yake alikuwa anataka nini kwenye maisha yangu and yeah Karima Story Live
Bonyeza hapa kusubscribe na bonyeza hapa kwenye alama ya kengele ili usipitwe na video mpya kila inapowekwa.